Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you the best way to speed ramp your music videos or any footage you have by using Premiere Pro. This was actually a suggestion from one of you and I'm excited to share it with you. But before we dive in, I just wanted to quickly introduce my brand new shake pack. If you're interested, you can grab it right now through the link in the description below. Don't miss out, download yours today. Let's start by unlinking the video and audio if they're synced together. To do this, right click on the clip, find link and click it, I've already done this. The first thing I do when adding speed ramps is listen to the music carefully. I pay attention to beats, bass hits, or any other key moments in the audio where a speed ramp would make sense for me. Once I find those spots, I place markers by pressing M on the keyboard. I start by identifying where I want the speed ramps to happen, using the markers I placed earlier. When the playhead reaches the first marker, I make a cut at that point. Then I slow down the clip by pressing Command or Control R on your keyboard to bring up the speed duration settings. From there I adjust the speed. Ideally, it's best to shoot videos at at least 60 FPS. However, if you only have 24 FPS, you can still make it work. This video is in 24 FPS and even that can look good with the right settings. At the top of the screen, I've added a reference for the best speed ranges to use for different frame rates when applying speed ramps. Right now I'm setting the speed to 40%. This is what I consider a golden middle ground that works well for 100 FPS, 60 FPS and even 24 FPS. Since this clip is in 24 FPS, I also changed the time interpolation setting from frame sampling to optical flow for better outcome. At this point we need to make a cut on the second marker, then again press command R and speed up the clip to around 600%. However, as you can see the result looks very choppy and we don't want to leave it like this. To make it smoother and more visually appealing, the first effect we're going to apply is echo. Open the effects panel, search for echo and drag it onto the clip. Now, in the effects control panel, we need to adjust the echo settings to get the best look. For echo time, set this to minus 0.043, number of echoes increase to 5, decay adjust to 80 precinct, so 0 0.80 echo operator, change it from add to maximum. Now we've got an effect looking like this for our speed ramp, and you guys can adjust this to your liking. Now, we add the next clip and repeat the same process. At the end, we'll again speed up the clip and apply the echo effect. This creates a smooth, fast-paced transition. By repeating this process for each clip, you'll ensure that the transitions flow seamlessly throughout the video. To avoid re-entering the echo effect settings repeatedly, we can simply duplicate the effect. So move to a clip that already has the echo effect applied, press Command C to copy the effect, then move to the next sped up clip and paste it with Command V. This way, you can quickly apply the same echo settings to all your sped up clips without having to adjust them each time. We're almost done and it's looking pretty decent, but it can always be improved a little more. One way to enhance it is by adding a flash effect. First, we'll add an adjustment layer. Go to New Item and select Adjustment Layer. For the duration, I usually keep it between 6 to 8 frames long. I like to position the adjustment layer between the first and second clip right where the speed ramp starts, moving it exactly three frames ahead of the start point, and the rest goes after. Then, I repeat this at the end of the sped up clip. Basically, I duplicate the adjustment layer to maintain the same effect across multiple transitions, as you can see. Now it's time to apply the flash effect to the adjustment layers. Personally, I prefer using my own custom flash effect, but of course you can use any flash effect you like, or even create a completely different one. If you'd like to use my custom flash effect, you can download it by following the link in the description. Just make sure to click through, give a follow, and leave a like on one of my videos to unlock it. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you feel like there are too many adjustment layers, feel free to remove as many as you need and adjust everything to your liking. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you create smoother, more dynamic speed ramps. Also, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and follow for more.